Hi guys, welcome back to Rudragada channel. Hope you all are fantastic. In today's class, we are going to discuss about how to integrate our Dynatrace and AWS so that we can monitor the AWS cloud in the Dynatrace. Connect to your Dynatrace console, then click on the apps button and search for AWS. Inside the infrastructure observability, you will find our option called AWS Classic. Just click on that and we directly go into that particular phase. We are right now in the AWS section and it is clearly telling you have no monitored AWS accounts. But at the end of the video, the screen will completely change because we will have an AWS monitoring here. So what to do for that? Just click on enable AWS monitoring. Okay. And then you will find an option called connect new instance. Click on that. So once you clicked on connect instance, it is waiting for a few information like connection name, then IAM rule, account ID, and we will also take use of this ID information in the AWS console. For this demonstration purpose, connection name, I will give it as Dynatrace. Okay, Dynatrace AWS. So just for our understanding purpose. And inside the authentication method, we are using the rule based authentication. Okay, then what else information we want here? We want IAM rule and then Amazon account ID. Where you will get info this information? We will get this information in AWS console. For that, you should go into the AWS console. Okay. And once you connect it to the AWS console, at the right hand side, you will find your name. And also there is a one drop down option. If you click on that drop down option, you are able to get your account ID information. Okay. In my environment is the name of the account. And then if you click on this scroll down button, here you will find the account ID. Okay. Let me click on that. This is my account ID. So I will just copy this account ID information. Okay. Account ID is copied. Then I will go back to my Dynatrace console and then I will enter the Amazon account ID details here. Okay, our Amazon account ID is also ready. So what else information we want now? IAM role. To get the IAM role, let me connect to our AWS console and then click on cloud formation. Okay, this is the steps we need to follow to create the IAM role. I connect it to AWS console. Then I have clicked on cloud formations. So I already created one stack here. If you want, you can take use of this or else I will just create one more here. Here you find an option called create stack. I'll just click on create stack then with the new resources and come down here you will find an option called upload template file you need to upload a yml file here but from where you will get that file for that what you can do just go back to your console that is Dynatrace console and then click on this option set up aws monitoring okay so once this page is open there they have provided the complete information since we are using the role based authentication that is i mean third section i'll just click on that so that it will go to that particular section automatically okay right now we came directly into aws monitoring policy and role based authentication section okay so you will get that information in your downloader okay how to do that it will go to into your github you will find an option here download raw file that's it it will go into your download section if I go to file explorer, you will find that name information here. I already downloaded one. So I just to show that information to you guys, I have downloaded one more here. Role based access, no AZ template two. Okay. That's not a problem, right? Then I will go back to our AWS console, then click on upload a template file, then choose a file and upload that information here. For example, this is the one I have downloaded now. Then I will click on open. Okay, now our file is uploaded successfully. So it will give the next option here. I will click on the next and, and once you come into the step two, you need to provide some information here. For example, for the stack name, I will give it as AWS DT one or two, whatever you want. I will give it as zero one. Then external ID. This is very important. We need to provide the external ID information. Then only you can establish the connection between the Dynatrace and the AWS. But where you will get this external ID, you will get the external ID detail information in your Dynatrace console. If you scroll down here, this is the place of our external ID. Right now it is hidden. If you want to view that one, you can just click on the show option. It will show the complete information here. 
So I will copy this one, right? And then I will again click on the hide and I'll then go back to our AWS console and then I will enter the information here. Okay. External ID copied from the settings, clouds and virtualization, AWS in the Dynatrace. They have clearly mentioned the information here, right? Okay. Then come down and you will find the row name. This is what we want in the Dynatrace. Okay. If I go back to our Dynatrace console, here it is pending, right? I am role information is not there here. How to provide that? You just copy this information and put it into your Dynatrace. But before that, it should create, right? What I will do for that? I will go ahead and click on next and I will come down. I will accept all the informations here. Then I'll click on next and again come down. And finally, we need to click on submit. Okay. Once I click on submit option, it will create this particular role in the AWS. Okay, then we can establish the connection and I will paste the IAM role name, whatever I have copied here. What is that? This is the name of it. I'll copy that and I'll paste it here. Then click on connect so that you can see that connecting to AWS by using that IAM role. We are establishing the connection between the Dynatrace and AWS. Once it is connected successfully, you are able to see complete information. Right now, how many EC2 instances we are monitoring, what are the S3 buckets are there, all the metrics associated with that, everything we are able to see in the Dynatrace console. Okay, now it is connected successfully. This is the name we have given, right? Dynatrace and AWS, and we are going to monitor the AWS components. What all it is monitoring, how we can check that information, click on search and type AWS classic again. So this is the page you are going to get. So in this one, it will clearly telling how many S3 buckets are under monitoring and the EBS volumes and also the EC2 instances. Okay. So if you click on this one, it will go further down and you will get the detailed information of that. And all these options are clickable. If you want to look into more information about the load balancer. If you click on load balancer, you will get the detailed information of that. For example, you want to see what all are the EBS volumes are available. Just click on that option. So you'll get the corresponding information here. For example, you want to know the availability zones. Just click on that. It will give the detailed information of that. Hope you are understanding, right? One running EC2 instances. To verify that, what I will do, I will go back to my AWS console and I will show you the server name. The same server we have used for Linux monitoring yesterday. If you are not visited that video where I have discussed how to do the Linux monitoring in Dynatrace, please do watch. I will provide that link in the description box. You can see right, right now in my environment, I have only instances that is demo Dynatrace where I have installed the Dynatrace one agent and I am monitoring that. Okay. Let me click on close option. Go back to the Dynatrace console. This is how you can establish the integration between the Dynatrace and AWS. This is how you can enable the AWS monitoring in the Dynatrace. Hope the video is useful for you guys and if you feel it is useful kindly do share with your friends who are interested in the Dynatrace. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I will meet you in another video with the next concept. Bye for now.